saltists. 20 HC. Seven foot ugly stick stripers. They do nothing but float rig fish. And of course, my fishing bow. Seven foot medium light ugly stick tiger rods. All with Shimano Triton 100 G's undercover. Ugly stick, six foot three, jigging rods, tiger jigging, with jigging master, level wind, lever drag, jigging master, wiki reels. My two bot Daiwa. Beef sticks with Daiwa Ryoga Bay Jigging seven point three to one Bay Jigging and back here Jigging Master Reel with my jigging master carbon fiber ultra 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 extra light rod and a basket full of reel covers of all sizes then there's a rack with extra stripers, extra tiger light, ugly stick jigging, an old all star and a complete set of Shakespeare ugly stick intercoastals. Then on the other side, the same rack, Ugly Stick Tiger, seven foot, medium heavy meat movers, all brand new. These four are presently for sale. $55 each. Contact me if you're interested. These are absolute meat movers. Then on this side, five more ugly stick striper, seven foot casting. Everything here is casting unless I tell you it's spinning and there's not much of it. Everything I have is casting. These are spinning. Four forty thin or spinning reels. On medium 
Ugly Stick Striper Spinning Rods. Iowa Ryogas undercover on eight foot ugly stick tigers, medium light, absolute buggy whips for long distance casting of top water plugs and jigs. Four more. Six foot three, ugly stick tiger, jigging, originals, and new ones with the ugly tough guides, shark fishing, exclusively for shark fishing, with Finor Sportsman ST30s. You can see. The originals had the aluminum gimbal. The new ones have the rubber gimbal. One hundred percent for shark fishing only. Spare reels. We'll start with more Daiwa Saltists twenty HC. Then we'll go to Spare Ryogas. Spare Ryogas of differing gear ratios and handle configurations. Finishing up with the Daiwa Saltiga. The next is a old but reliable heirloom Penn International 975. Then we move on to Triton 200 G's. A little wider than the 100 G's. with power handle, Shimano power handle off of Calcutta. Then we'll move on to spare Shimano Triton 100 G's. With original handles. And very much thanks to my buddy and YouTube viewer, Wes, in Mayport. I swapped him a couple rods for this right here. And this is the Jetty Wolf Tackle Cabinet. This is what... I've always wanted. This is where everything is tagged and bagged.
from batteries to terminal tackle to soft plastics to trout lures to ball jig heads to double hook rigs to fixed eggs to mono, mustad hooks, plug hooks, three, 35 millimeter canisters, float rigs, two ounce floats, other corks, trout leads, knives and sheaths, flashlights, and deep trolling sinkers. Just to give you an example, we'll look at vertical jigs. There's the vertical jig tray. What else do we need to look at? Oh, there's the old real cleaning drawer. These are super handy. You get them at Northern Tool in giant bags. These cotton swabs on the end of a stick. All the little micro screwdrivers. Different parts and tools. Must add hooks. All with labels and names in there. From 2 aught to 3 aught hooks. Boxes of 1,000. More must adds. There's a whole bunch right back there in a box. Here's my, all my 5 aught true turns. Here's more must adds. 5 aughts. Six aughts. Mono. Various mono. Strong arm parts to make my strong arm rigs. Fixed egg sinkers with singles. All marked, three eighths ounce. Back there's half ounce, two ounce. Fixed eggs, so they don't go nowhere. I don't want them sliding up and down my line. I have a video of how I make these. Trout floats. Two ounce trout floats. One ounce trout floats and trout leads. So that just gives you a little overview. Ball jig heads. Ones that I did a video of how to make yourself. Just a throwaway jig ounce and one and a half ounce. Let's see, 10 knot shark hooks. There's 10 knots. There's 10 knot VMC helicon hooks. Let's see, that's pretty much it. Some terminal tackle. Wind on leaders, bait rigs, sabiki rigs, other corks, some popping corks. Two ounce trout leads for float rigging. Replacement lure hooks. Plug hooks, mustads, VMCs, this box, that storage box is one wonderful thing to have. Thank you, Wes. All right, well, back in the wolf den, and uh, I said I was going to give a little tour. 
of all my tackle and everything, uh, I wasn't about to take the reel covers off of all my reels. <laughs> That's such a chore to take them off and then put them all back on again. So you got the overview of what was there, okay? There's the daily drivers. There's the egg beaters. I only own four egg beaters out of all my tackle. I don't need more than four. So you got a little bit of a tour there of uh, everything, and I'm still addicted, and I still want more. I see some, and I'm like, ah, oh, what do I, oh, yeah. Because I believe in spares. I've got spares. You know, I can't have two reels broken and then all of a sudden not have reels for customers. So I can't have two reels broken for Dave, let alone, you know, because then that takes hours and days and I might have to order a part. But I should do my, one of my next videos should be, and I will concentrate on trying to do this for you in the future. I got a lot that I can do. Golly, I got a lot I can do. It's just how much do I want to sit here at this laptop editing. But a great video that I should do since my number one go-to reel of all time, my number one reel is the Shimano TR100G, commonly referred to as the Shimano Triton. They sort of got away from that, but on the end cap, you know, I think they still have the little Triton, you know, uh, symbol. Um, it's, it'll always be a Triton to me. Absolutely the most workhorse reel. But the video I should do is how do I keep them running? The pros and the cons. There's hardly any cons. Hardly any cons for just a utilitarian reel, but show you the tricks that I use to always keep them running. Now, I do have a video from years ago called Charterizing Your Reels. That's what I do when I get a brand new reel in, be it a used one or a new one. I charterize it, and that means greasing it in places that are critical points because when you've got four or five or six or eight or 10 that you're using constantly, and you saw all those, not everyone gets used all at the same time. I pick them and all my tackle gets rotated except for those four spinners. But my uh, Daiwa uh, Saltus 20 HCs, they get swapped after a, like a a year of usage or so and they come off the float rig rods and the other pile goes on the float rig rods and the old ones get a once over they get recharterized but there's certain things that I do to my my Shimano Tritons not much I don't have to do much there's things that I like carry with me kind of spare parts I guess you could say because there is a few little issues with them. I'll tell you, it really depresses me that the first ones I ever bought, I think were like $48.99 on eBay. And now these things are a hundred bucks. So, but either way, I hope you enjoyed another walkthrough of the Jetty Wolf Tackle. Now, the funny thing is, is I made this exact same video years ago. But people don't watch your channel. They're sitting in the doctor's office. They're sitting at school. They're sitting on the school bus. They're sitting on the whatever. And they're just watching videos as they kind of come up. Like me, I do it. But I still go to people's channel if I'm sort of really interested. Even on my smart TV, which is, uh, I use Roku. I don't know if you heard it. It makes it a smart TV connected to the internet. And I watch YouTube, but I still go to channels. 
you still have the availability. One thing you can't do, you can give it a, a like or a dislike, but you can't comment through a smart TV. So I do that. But nobody really goes to your channel anymore. If I looked at people who probably go to my channel and really look, it's probably like next to none. So that's the nature of the beast. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. I don't care either way. Just do me a favor. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let the algorithm know that you just checked it out. That's it. That was the walkthrough. So until next time, thanks for stopping by. Captain Dave Sport Fishing, YouTube channel.